All right, welcome back. <laughs> University of Michigan Dota 2 versus University of British Columbia Grevels. We've got on the mic Greville. this week. Greville. Grevels. I don't Tim. Know. Greville's Greed? Is it Greville's Greed? Greville's Greed. It's Greville. <laughs> nah, it's Greville's Greed now. <laughs> okay, whoopsie. Roshan the Big Greville. <laughs> welcome back to the stream, guys. <laughs> can't pronounce a team name on here or put a team name in the stream title without some type of University error of stream. Texas. <laughs> University of Texas, Mississippi versus Missouri, a famous controversy. Oh, man. Um, the best. The best one. Yeah. I don't even know what Toronto is. Is that a state in Minnesota? Who knows? All right. We've got bands. Have me fooled. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so good. <laughs> State in Minnesota. Where's Tim Minnesota? Kind of base with that though. I think it's next to California, right? Holy Giga Chad! <laughs> I wish. <laughs> All right. So what are we looking at for the first pick? Oh, the Shadow Demon. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at what the Shadow Demon Luna combo coming out. I have no idea what these guys play though. For UBC. In Michigan, well, they're probably going to play Alchemist if they, they have Gravel in the name. That's very true. Or maybe they just love killing Roche. You never know. Lore. Bailey is educated on his lore. <laughs> yes, sir. I watched a Slacks rant or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michigan, they're going to open up with a TB. Oh, the Oracle oh, opener. Classic Oracle, okay. Very nice. The Tyler's signature. I like it. <clears throat> So both teams have a <laughs> solid save on the five. You're going to be happy with that. So we're going to be looking for what? Some some, some carries that are good at being saved? Is that, is that what we're looking at here? Carries that are good at being saved. <laughs> yeah, like like the drows. My sniper. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. What, like putting Zach on carry? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Carries that are good at being saved. Carries <laughs> frequently in need of being saved. <laughs> Poor Zach. <laughs> oh man, you know I kind of like the Friday night streams. So I'm a big fan. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Yo, why does? Do you guys have like the guild for Laubon is like a different color than everyone else's guild? Mm -mm. It's the same one for me. Oh, it's they're all just like a brownish orange. Brown. What? Yeah, his is like a, a light. I don't know. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. Oh, the centaur band. I don't even think I've seen Lawan play this hero, but you know, can't go wrong with the centaur band. A lot of offlaners being banned out here. Anti mage band from Michigan. That's interesting. I wonder if it's a specialty for UBC here. Oh, before we get further into the draft, though, banner review time. Oh, my. UBC logo? Sick. Honestly, I love their base logo. But once again, I have not seen a banner that hasn't been cut in half this season. And it makes me so sad. Other than ours. Yes, other than ours. That's true. Because we got hounded on it by our marketing team to fix it. <laughs> Good. And if it wouldn't have been them, I think it would have been Zach and I too. Got to get those banners straightened out. Very they look particular so ways that it that that it like it's formatted in Dota. It's stupid. You have to like, put them side by side in the image, compressed. Oh, is it because it's like it's not just one image? It's it both sides of the, the banner. Left half of the banner. And then like... the right half of the banner. No, because it's double sided, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's dumb. It's like an actual texture file. Yeah. So can you have like a multi? Itself. <gasps> can you have different textures on each side of the banner? I don't know. Probably. Dude, if we could have a works. radiant and dire themed Michigan banner for like each side, that'd be so sick. And probably be against our marketing. <laughs> even for that like even if we Probably. keep the block m and just make it like no i'm not i don't work here anymore <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> talk to roger talk to tyler yeah i'm gonna harass tyler about that <laughs> look okay if there's a there's a stream that epitomizes you know the definition of flexible rulemaking uh <laughs> it would be 
the University of Michigan Dota 2 broadcast. Okay, let's not get it. Fuck fire law. Correct. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Talk to me about this next pick, Bailey. All right, the line pick. Wait, are you talking, no, line I'm talking pick? about the upcoming University of British Columbia uh, Grievel's uh, pick? Yes. They're going to be running the Luna? No, they're going to be rocking some flex for their 2 3 and then probably picking up their other support here and then countering Michigan's pick with their carry. That's what I'm feeling. This is going to be. Oh, the Luna! It actually was the Luna! <laughs> Shit, I should have stuck in my gut here. Yeah, so it's going to be Luna and then what? Some flex, probably? So you can counter pick with the support on their fourth pick? Oh my god, this actually would have been such a good TB4 game, though. Holy. <clears throat> I was sort of looking here. Maybe. Oh, a Nyx! Very interesting. Is Nyx good right now? I'll take that as a maybe. I don't I don't <laughs> think it's like particularly good, is it? I think it's just like I think it's good if you're good at it, maybe, but that's kind of been like the perpetual state or the on and off state of Nyx, I guess, for, for years it feels like now. Yeah, yeah. Where, like, you can play it if you're good, but like you can never really play Nyx if you're not really like a Nyx specialist type type beat type beat. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent agree on that. So Michigan, what are they gonna open up here? Will we see a bigger hero pool coming out from Steve this series? I really oh honestly, I'd be okay with a DK here for Michigan. You know, he can flex it two or three. Not gonna be too mad about that. And then Probably pick your carry as well. For carries into the Luna matchup, probably a Sven. I can see this being a very good Sven game, especially with the Oracle pairing. Never going to be mad about having False Promise on you as a Sven. Um, this could be a... I don't know what else I'm thinking here. Because you don't want to go like... Other heroes that would be good into Shadow Demon. Like, you don't want to pick up the Dusa. Don't really want to. Oh, the Razor. Interesting pickup here. I guess, you know, if they get Shadow Demon saved, Link will still go. So you're not really mad about a hero getting saved because you just get more damage out of them. Yeah. It's a decent pressure pick against, like, the Luna. Like, I think you can play that lane fairly competitively. The timing profile is kind of nice. Just makes it a little bit more difficult for, you know, Sealy to execute the game plan. Or not Sealy, excuse me. Um, Whoever the UBC carry is. Yeah, yeah, 100% agree. And I feel like Razor, not the most flexible hero, but depending on what UBC picks... Next, it could be flexible. Oh, the Death Prophet. U of M picking up the tempo tonight. Oh my god, I never thought I'd see the day. Honestly, I would love a Sven to run out to round out Michigan's draft. Damn, or really, a life stealer. You're really calling for that uh the run it down comp. I mean I'm down with it, honestly. The Sven seems okay. You kinda worry a little bit about um, the Sven versus Luna matchup into perpetuity. I feel like like the the BKB timing is just, you're kind of forced to take a fairly normal BKB timing. Mm -hmm. But that being said, I mean you could do get great wave clear. What are, what are the other like carry options in in Sealy's pool that you would look to? Other carry options. I mean, Life Sealer is just really strong right now. Probably one of the strongest carries in the game. Uh. It's good against a lot of heroes. I would assume it matches up well against Luna. I don't really know how the one-on-one -on -one works, but I can't... Oh my god, not a sniper game. Well, they've decided what type of game it's going to be. What, right, this boys, is sniper I'm mode, out. right? I'm not watching this. <laughs> I'm not watching this. Are you I'm serious? Gonna go in. No, I'm going to stay. But, okay. yeah, I'm going to go for a walk. You guys can have the rest of the draft. I was going to say, kind of based if you did leave, though, because <laughs> sniper's in the game. <laughs> The spec ban, I like it. Honestly, Michigan probably wishing they had the anti-mage still in the pool right now. You know, I mean, this yeah. just makes Sven even better, I feel. If you just go some 
like just BKB eggs on Sven, you should be able to do pretty well into the Luna Sniper. But or Harpoon, maybe? Harpoon, I mean Oof. You're kind of reaching, um, but I like the, I like the idea. It, like, man, it feels like how do you fit that into the itemization? But I mean, like from a logical standpoint, like it makes sense. Yeah, like def you definitely harpoon this game. What about PA for Michigan? Because I I believe Sealy plays a good amount of PA. If that I seems correctly. viable. I'm thinking like PA Weaver. Ooh, Weaver. This a would be a good damn call. good Weaver name. I like the timing profile on Weaver too. You know what I'm saying? I think it lines up really well with the Razor Death Prophet yeah, and you can, like, Pressures catch, Luna a bit. Catch early. that like second item on Weaver and and really like, you know, press it. It helps you take Roche early as well. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm, I like that idea a lot actually. Good call. Because I mean, what do you buy? Uh, I mean, what's really stopping you on Weaver as well? Like Nix, Nix hitting a Weaver with Impale. <laughs> okay, sure. Omni into an Oracle. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not exactly we tried sure this on that, Wednesday, but... and that was a wild pick, and that was a bad Oracle player as well. <laughs> oh man, Tyler's gonna have a field day with this Omni in the offlane. It's gonna be the PA. There we go. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I think I mean this is just a great angle, right? <clears throat> I think it makes a lot of sense. I don't think the Omni is like that. Like strong counter, you need to be super concerned. The scales super well. You've got like a lot of enablement to kind of like allow the PA to stay off the map. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there is some like weird. I think there's going to be a, a tough decision to be made here about when exactly the PA is supposed to join the fight. You know what I'm saying? I think that's not Ooh. obviously clear, like exactly yeah. what timing that happens, and I think that's going to be a critical decision for this game as to, you know, maintaining Mich uh, momentum on the side of Michigan's side. Because Michigan does want to stay ahead, right? Like, if this Michigan draft falls behind... Um, They're going to be having a rough time. Yeah, the PA, can, the PA can fairly, like, cleanly carry this game from ahead, e even if it extends to a very normal Michigan game time. Um, but I think you probably run into some issues if this draft falls behind and you move to a normal Michigan game time uh, versus, like, essentially, like, the, the double... The double um, or just very sniper. intensely scaling with like the Omni Knight on the back end. Like there, there's a lot of good stuff here on the side of UBC. Oh, and the Shadow Demon as well. Like there, there's a lot of carry amplification, you know, on the side of UBC with this Luna and Sniper that could get really dangerous uh, if they're allowed to scale appropriately. And this Om, I think if this Om, man, if this Omni gets ahead, I mean, um, you know, I, I, I think this is a good Omni look. It could do a lot here, and, and, but it's relying on that. And I think as long as Michigan can stay ahead in this game, they they've got a, a very good good. Uh, they're looking good. They're looking good. I would say. Yeah, I my only concern is knowing when this PA will join fights because honestly, I could see the PA just going Deso BKB and ignoring Battle Fury completely this game. Mm -hmm. But if you do that and miss your thirty five minute you timing. Of breaking high ground, you're going to be screwed. <laughs> yep. I would agree. I would agree. Wow, you're good. I'm better. <laughs> what is that voice line? Yeah, it's nice. it's Who just is that from? Oh, it's Pilot Eye. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. That is, I, I had never heard that one either, actually. That's very funny. Oh. Uh, so, are there really any lanes we need to watch out for? Is what it, I mean, like it's gonna the, be. It's gonna be the. Um, it's gonna be uh, mid at bottom, right? Like, that's kind of where this game is gonna be decided. Like, how can this Luna get out of the laning stage? Like, somewhat even. Uh, Thirty seconds. Does the, like, battle. what does the sniper do mid versus Kataz? I think like that. That lane is pretty important. Whereas I think like top lane is should. I mean should be a walk. That doesn't mean it, it is. We've seen many lanes from, from Michigan go in ways you wouldn't expect this season, but... Yeah. I'll say we'll yeah. Because, I mean, Luna should be able to get pressured pretty well 
by Razor, but at the same time, oh, Fight going down in the top lane, trying to go on this Nyx. Will they actually get the kill here? It'll be pretty nice close. Extension First, Laban. That's actually Ooh. beautiful. I mean, Laban. that's exactly what you want to see. It, it doesn't get better than this, right? Straight no, up. that's exactly it. Bounty Rune's going 2 2. You're going to be very happy about that on the side of Michigan. Yeah, I'm back. Dude, you missed first blood. That's okay. Who got it? Laoban. Surprise, surprise, Big. I know. Oh, they already pinged out the Shadow Demon blocking. I believe Seelie pinged it there. Yep, Tyler's gonna go deward it already while blocking the medium camp. Beautiful play from him there. Shadow Demon's pissed. I love it. <clears throat> Interesting move to uh, get the supports on Oracle right under tower. Uh, and running Shadow Demon 4? With the Nyx and Luna. Huh. Honestly, I kind of like it. Because I don't think Shadow Demon would have anything to stop Razor from just killing the Luna. So, I, good lane switch, I'd say. <clears throat> Let's see, though. Overall... I don't know, this is going to be an interesting game. I'm very intrigued to see the build the sniper goes. Like, will he go the standard right-click plink-plonk build, or is he going to go the XM Chad casting build on sniper? Very interested to watch bottom, I mean, bottom lane, it's, it's going exactly as you would expect. A, a ton of contact down here. Big wave about a crash into Radiant Tower. It's, it's a big level yeah. right here. <laughs> Oh, and then even better, Razor struggles with mana so hard, but having line there to keep him topped up, that's nice. Oh, Two but, big uh, range creep denies. You can't, you can't, I mean, not denies, but he prevented CS on both range creeps. Very beautiful. Nice. Oh, but the uh, XM Sniper build is like Max Shrapnel, uh, like Max Shrapnel, Treads, Dragon Lance, and then rush eggs and get a conda. And it is so strong. I don't think he lost a single game with it, all of Dream League. And he played like, I think seven or eight games on it. Sheesh. Very fun sniper ball. Oh, this Luna. <laughs> Gotta be a little careful there. <laughs> Ugh. I guess that's really showing why they switched the Nyx for the Shadow Demon here. Battle of the Earth Spikes. Yeah. Talking about other lanes though, this uh, Celia is having somewhat of a rough time up here at top. Yeah. I'm a little surprised that uh, Tyler didn't pick up a stick. The fact that he yeah. didn't pick up a stick is kind of throwy, I won't lie. Against the Shadow Demon, that's like a, a must have. And this mo the, the modern way Omni Knight is played in lane is, is uh, stick is fairly good against. Yeah, the spamming abilities. Yeah. It's kind of wild to see two offlane Omnis in the same week, though. Like, I I don't think it's that good, but it's just kind of fun. I tuned into that walking home last week from uh, on Wednesday from work, and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Dude, like, clown fiesta. <laughs> top lane. A little bit of damage to the Shadow Demon. It looks like he's going to turn around onto the PA. Blood grenade going to get dropped. See at least spot of trouble. One more hit's all it's gonna take is to be able to get away. Not I mean, quite. And Tyler getting blocked by his own illusions has to take the long way. Oh wait, oh, is he gonna turn, oh my God. turn it? Centaur stun. Oh, he could have killed Shadow Dude, Demon if you saw that. Bottom lane, the though, they're side, looking for a kill on the Luna. They're team. gonna get it, and they're gonna turn Maybe on the next. one in onto the next good. By Carapus, gonna Ooh. get. Oh no! Oh, oh no. better. He's Job on Chad. Well done, Chad. I'll see it in ten minutes. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Huge. Both off lanes. Happy with their engagements there. I mean, overall, not gonna be definitely not gonna be happy about that, but not gonna be too mad either for Michigan. This Omni getting a ton out of this lane though. Same for Sniper. Oh my god. Shadow Demon, and this Oracle, I'm not sure if you want this fight, Shadow Demon. Oh, the stun! Who's gonna win? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't ready for the smoke. No way, Tyler's gonna tick out! 
Oh. <laughs> Bruh, you have 200 gold, you best be picking up a stick. Oh, I swear man. to God. That's so Tyler. funny. That's so good. I mean, you're going to be super happy about that. Honestly, Tyler's probably happy about dying to Shadow Demon there because nobody he on... He come back with full resources too. Yeah, and Radiant got zero XP from it. Oh, is that an impale down? Oh, that double an impale on the Razor and Lion. It's a little bit rough for the Lion. And now you're just gonna smack the shit out of this Nyx Assassin. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I mean, the Nyx Assassin has turned this bottom lane from something that should have been quite Razor favorite Daily. to a, a mass loss. Oh, that Shadow Poison is undispellable. I did not know that. Huh. Ours. I thought it was. Um, I mean, uh, Fate's Edict works against it because it is magic damage. Oh, actually, so if you point. if you pop Fate's Edict against it, it's still pretty good. Dubu, bit of trouble here. Seely not gonna be able to find an angle onto the Shadow Demon. This is Omni Knights looking for blood. Chasing down the PA, TP coming in from the Death Prophet. One more hits, all that's needed. There's Steve. Gonna get disrupted. Might be enough to stop with the fight. There's the sniper coming in. He's level six. That's probably not the best if Silly shows, but all the attention onto Steve as he gets left for dead. I mean, that just seemed like kind of a bold TP to make. Like, I know Death Prophet's lane hasn't been going very well, but. Oh, bottom lane though, Nick's about to go down here. Will he actually tick out? Razor going to be able to hold on long enough? No. Ooh. He does put Luna super low though, which is nice. This sniper having a great game. Like, if I was a sniper in this game, I'd be very, very happy with how it's going. 19 denies on him. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Wow, wow, wow. Love on picking up the Wisdom Rune just to try and catch up in an XP here in the bottom lane. Luna's actually oh, doing surprisingly well. Top lane pushed us. Just getting run down under tower by the Omni Knight. Seven and a half minutes in a thousand HP. Oh no. Oh, 12 cool. wand charges. The math on Omni is insane, by the way. Because if you hit level 10 and to have your Echo Saber in Shard, which is like, not too unreasonable to get, you can do about 700 pure damage in the course Dyer's of two attacks and with attack. your abilities. It is- That's not okay. It's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, cause Hammer will do- top tower is under Shit, attack. Hammer will do about 300 per, and then with Shard you smack him. Get a hammer off, you cast hammer, then cast purification. Realistically, you're doing about 700 damage. It's amazing. I love it. So gimmicky, but very fun. Steve, bottom lane. Looking for an opportunity. Not sure if he got spotted by that sentry ward. Huh. Well, I'm just gonna show himself. At the ready. Honestly, I really like this move from Michigan just to try and take towers because even though Radiant is ahead, there's no way they can fight into this XO here and be able to defend this tower. Oh, Seelie may be paying the price for this. Running into the Omni in the top lane, will Omni just dunk him down? Oh, PA! The opportunity to jump away. Okay. Good heads up play from Lion. Oh, saving Sealer there. She the will get away safely. Just barely with her life. Oh my god. In the top lane. Oh, Jin. Four heroes now gotta be here just to deal with this Omni Knight. A menace in the lane. There's the stun. Laoban coming in. Pops the ultimate. Omni, you're now in trouble. You thought you were invincible, but not so much. As Michigan find the kill. Ooh, killing spree going the way of Laoban as well. You're gonna be very happy about that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I would be so pissed if I was Steve. Did you see those headshot procs? Yes. Who needs some raindrops in this lane ASAP? Oh, Michigan going for the death ball in mid now. I don't know how I feel they about that. Yeah. 
Like, unless Exo's up, you just don't really want to make moves around the map, I feel. you got to look at what the Nyx and the Luna are doing, right? Like, that's the story of the last three minutes, is, is that they're attack. just uncontested bottom lane. The Luna's free farming, the Nyx is pushing the wave out, so, like, even though Michigan has made strong moves across the map, like, it doesn't actually reflect in the net worth at all, because the Luna's just farmed through it uncontested. The Sniper's done half damage to mid tower. Yeah, exactly. Like, after killing Omni, I would have liked to see Laoban and both supports just immediately go through Portal and try and take over this jungle a little bit, since Radiant has a bunch of wards here down as well, which is kind of crazy. They are making sure this Luna is as safe as possible. <clears throat> Ooh, mid lane, though. Trying to just get some damage on the tower with the Siege Creep. Honestly, really like that move here. Not doing too much, but you know, a little, little bit of damage. Omni is unfazed by the occurrences that just transpired in the top lane. Just back there, on his own. I mean, he, sh he shouldn't care at all. Like, he's gonna get tier 1, and even if he dies again, that's still 4 heroes minimum that need to be able to kill him. Because Oracle just doesn't have the damage to chunk through 1600 HP at 11 minutes. That That's dumb. That's so dumb. Oh my lord, this hero. Silliness. Yes sir. Alright, I gotta switch over to the net worth charts here. Ooh, I mean... This is pretty much as... Not as you'd expect necessarily, but I Bailey, this is like let's not sugarcoat it. This is absolutely not how the lady phase was supposed to play out. This is no, very, I this is very far away from what this is supposed to look like. Just given the dress. Yeah, I think for Seely, it's fine just right. because there's no way you can keep pace with Luna this absolutely. game. And it's just mid lane went so rough for Steve with this sniper. I don't know if it's a lack of like experience dealing with Sniper or what, but it was rough. Omni Knight coming up on that Echo Saber now, that's honestly going to be terrifying. This minute 10 timing on Omni, or minute 15 timing I mean, whew, he's level 10, You, <laughs> these supports have got to run. It's a great Echo Saber timing. Oh, oh. Very bold, but, the the TPA, but look at that, he got four heroes top. It's a it's at a max win. He actually yeah. hit book book book. Wow. Look. Wait, what are we looking at? Nothing. The fact that there's four heroes top lane. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying look 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 something else. Oh, I said book book book. It's a reference to a very popular uh, slot on stake.com. Ah, I see. You know, U of M though, even though they have four heroes top, they're going to use that to their advantage here. And Exo, we'll see. We'll see what the response looks like. We got uh, UBC actually rotating three here. I guess this is really showing one of the weaknesses of U of M's draft, where they don't have their typical like Lao Ban Chad frontliner front hero. Yeah. yeah. It seems like they don't really know how to play without one. Or maybe they're just like getting into the feel of things. I'm not really sure, but... Be you want to be having more momentum at this point of the game with this draft, though. Yeah, you definitely hope so. But the one thing you do have going for you is Celia is closing in on this Battle Fury. Slowly but surely, she is getting there. So... With Treads, Blightstone, eh, not too bad. Lobon going for the Blade Mail, that'll be interesting. What's Kataz building? This is Shiva's, okay, Shiva's is good. How's Lion looking? Alright, uh, pretty far away from the blink. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Sniper is going the XM build, yes! <laughs> It's a Treads, Dragonlance, Agonims, and then you get Conda. There you, <laughs> you go, just there you go. Dome people. <laughs> oh, I love it. I mean, I hate to see a Sniper in a game, but it makes me so happy I'm not playing against it. I feel very bad for Michigan here. This just, it's miserable playing into this hero. 
UBC is gonna square up for the siege. Going to take the tier one in all likelihood here. Omni farming top. While Sealy farms bottom. We're gonna see a little engage here. Davis the Gurmish, TP coming in on the Omni. Lots of damage down on the snipers. He's gonna get dropped really early from that finger death. Laubon dropping dangerously low as the Omni Knight is taking point, running up Nyx, trying to follow into Fush. Just a little bit in the back line is going to find the kill onto the Oracle as Tyler goes down. Laubon getting dropped by the Eclipse, and that's two for one going the way of UBC, and they show no signs of stopping. Kataz popping the Exo, trying to push UBC away. It looks like this may be successful. Turn it with the EXO is crazy. Oh, oh no! The Mind Flare! He got it and the Shadow hard. Poison! That was oh. five poisons. Bottom tower is Holy under crap. Is this the real Dubu, by the way, or is this... That's not, that's not the case, right? Like, this it is can't just... be, there's no, no way. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, maybe it is, you never know. Some fantasy world. <clears throat> Oh, who's mad right now? Nyx is? Oh no, oh, Hasted Omni going on to yeah, Sealy. Oh quick! Dude, that's what I'm oh, saying! to 100 Dude, real quick. That's what I'm saying! The Shard Echo Saber! Sealy, 1000 HP! Gone, doesn't matter. Oh my god. This, that's disgusting. That is pretty disgusting. Oof, this is going to be a hard game for Michigan to turn around at this point. I mean, you need to create so much space for PA. Luckily, she does have the Battle Fury now, which is good. Oh, did they see the Nyx there? Oh, they definitely did, just letting him go. Honestly, I like it. Good play there. Could they have turned? No, they didn't have Finger. Yeah, a little too dangerous there. Yeah. Honestly, good discipline from them to just ignore the Nyx there. Yeah, you can't get tested. You have to extend, but... I don't like the Michigan map posture. There's a lot of heroes being committed to securing Sealy's farm, and he's not even going to survive. Oh. It's going to go down, in fact. I think... Yeah, that's... I mean, that's PA. You just don't have any HP, and so if you're not uber careful in this game, you're just going to die. Like, to anybody in this game. Especially, Nyx has the Ag... or the Dagon now as well. How close is Sniper to this Ag's? Sniper's closing on the eggs, probably another three minutes left to go. It's, uh... Oh boy. Truly an oh boy scenario right here. <laughs> it, it really is. Bravo. I had a player on a team a long time ago named Oh Boy, and as soon as you said that, I was like, oh man. There, I was, say I was like, oh boy. Was he good? Uh, he was a PR nightmare, you could say. Oh, very fun. Very BM, is that what we're going with? Yeah, it was the beginning of me captaining any teams anywhere. I was just playing on a team, and the actual captain made me deal with it, and then after the season, quit and made me captain. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it was really wild. It was the start of my AD12 journey. Wow, what a time. Yeah, that was like seven years ago. Oh my god, that's actually insane. Speaking that's of time, really the amount of time that Luna has spent in the triangle is measured in years now. And Seeley just got <laughs> it. Oh, that puts Nyx above Seeley yeah. now, next P. Oh, dropping very no, low right as the Omni right Knight on the other side of the Exo. Not gonna put in any word, just four hero style on the side of Michigan. 13k gold lead going the way of UBC. 19 minutes in. Oh boy, this Only is a. Uh... Live and he has been spotted. Jin, get out! Run, Jin, run! I guess I think this is where. Not safe. I You're really would have. Oh, he's Ooh, dead. He's gonna move. die. That's boom, boom, point. bonk. Crazy. He's dead. He's dead. He didn't. He. he didn't... Is he's under attack. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Disrespectful, this we're seeing the sniper assassinating a range creep in the middle lane. I mean, you may as well, it has what? 15 second cooldown. Oh, that's actually kind of long. That's longer than I thought. Shout out to the Omni for the disassemble Echo Saber into Harpoon build. 
Echo is kind of sick. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Wait, what do you mean disassemble Echo disassemble Saber? Disassemble the Echo Saber, right? Echo Saber builds into Harpoon. Right? Yeah. Did yep. they change that? No. You're, you're totally correct. I just show so much I watch the game these days. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's all good, Tim. It's all good. Push squared up on the tier two mid. Push Next, square. Please, please. Oh, they uh, don't even. They don't the know. Helmet. They don't know. Nyx is there. Big vision coming in here from the Nyx. How will you be they have off? the dust, but no sentries. Maybe she'll just take the farm and and leave them be. No need to even, you know, make a move on this when the He's gonna kill the... mid. Oh, oh. this Omni Knight sees one hero. That hero was gone. Laubon might be soon to follow. Both the heroes in UBC do get stunned up. Garden Angel's gonna be a pop. A lot of good defense from this exorcism as Steve oh is going to God. immediately pay the price. Laubon is gonna try and walk away. There's the two man stun coming in. Are they gonna be able to find the kill on the Steve as he's walking away? Assassinate, not gonna be quite enough damage. Luna running in with the eclipse. He's gonna die to Shadow Poison. Beam. Is he going to live? Point one? Yes. Oh my god. Just in time in CLE. Looking for the kill onto the Luna. What? I swear we just saw Guardian Angel. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's it's not a. It's charged now. It's charged now. Oh, that's great. In single target, sir. <laughs> I don't know when they changed that. Wasn't that like. Two. Wasn't that three, five, B or A? It was like the last like six months, right? I have not played oh, really? <laughs> the past six months. Like I mean, Dyer's maybe it's not. I don't know. I thought it was. Maybe it was actually like 12 months in the last, you know, not the last six months. I think it was B. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it was. I don't B. think it was. Was it in for TI? I feel like it actually may have been in for TI now. I'm not. Now I'm actually like totally unsure. I yeah, think it was actually just 7.35. Damn. Well, let me see. I, I want to confirm that right Loki now. Loki solo tormentor from Navi and top lane right now. Yeah, it was changed in 3-5, so <laughs> back in December. Oh, actually not that long ago. Okay. Moon's blessings. And the fact that U of M is still playing this game, though, shows that their mental is pretty damn strong. Gotta, gotta respect that. So I would have GG'd out of this game 10 minutes ago. If we're being yeah, real I'm here. not sure this one is tenable. But, I mean, there is a PA in the game, so there are a lot of, you know, I guess potentiality. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, and that's just the PA factor. Back. Like, no matter how far behind you are, you can always crit someone. Oh, thank God that assassinate didn't hit, but uh, Seelie probably going down anyways. Right. It's a little too much. Monster kill. Yeah, I think. Maybe this is Honestly, the, just uh, GG uh, out. The like next title in the yeah, yeah. Like it's not worth the mental loss that you get from continuing this game. I feel. And Nyx is gonna insta kill Oracle. Oh my God, this Nyx is level 14 now, above Steve and Net Worth, about to pass Celia as well. Level three Dagon, minute 23. A little exquisite, if I do say so myself. Yes. Oh wow, and with Whisper of the Dread, wait, what is this item? Spell damage amp by 10% on Nyx. Jesus. Jeez, that's pretty wacky. Oh, Tim, Cole, do you know if Grove Bow is applied before or after the assassinate damage? Because I have no idea. I don't know, you could test it. Ah, uh, that requires effort. I agree. <laughs> Let's say before, that sounds crazier. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. I like it. It means that he's doing more damage than we'd normally expect. So Wait, it's does not it apply bad. on spells? No, but since assassinate counts as a right click, I'm not sure if it the right does? click is... Better. Because of the eggs, yeah. Wait, no, not because of the eggs, that's just how assassinate works, I'm pretty sure. What? Where it deals his attack damage? But it's magical. What? Hmm. I don't know how that works. Is he going to survive this? Does it matter? Oh, oh my god. He's got another charge at Guardian Angel, bro. He ain't going down just yet. Okay? He's not going down without a fight. Holy Giga Chad. And this is the last okay, night for Michigan. No oh. Oh my god.
All right, wow. boys. That's pretty This wacky. Omni. What a this game Omnix. from Kajiki no Maho. UBC. That was crazy. Holy shit. They played out of it. That was, that was clinical from them. Well, y'all will be in luck. We will see one more game. Unless or they two. made this a, one more game at least. Possibly two if we're lucky. Mm. Right after this epic break. Keep it here.
Welcome back to University of Michigan Dota 2, Game 2 versus University of British Columbia, where uh, University of Michigan finds themselves down 0-1 after a raucous Omni Knight and Sniper uh, off in mid lane, respectively. And we'd like to remind you that today's game is brought to you by... Zach, who's our game brought to you by? It's brought to you by Bruck, Buckfire Law. That's Buckfire right. Law. If you have experienced anything related to a personal injury, I'm talking your grandma uh, suffered injury in a nursing home. I'm talking car crash. I'm talking uh, work stoppage uh, due to injury. I'm talking lost wages. Uh, I'm talking any form of personal injury lawsuit. Buckfire Law will make it right. Call them today. Now, let's talk about this game, Cole. What do you want to see from Michigan in this draft? Um, sorry, I just got off the phone. Um, Zach, you want to answer that question? Yeah, I got you. I watched a little bit of game one, wasn't able to make it for the cast. But what I did notice is that Michigan, A, lost the lanes, which is something that has usually been a strength of Michigan. Um, and then Michigan also did not effectively counter the heroes that were strong in the moment. They did not, in fights and in their movements, figure out which heroes were strong and which heroes were weak of UBC and successfully attack and invade where the weak points in UBC's lineup were. Um, so I think Michigan's got to do a better job of analyzing the weak points of UBC's draft and hitting those really hard. And I think analyzing the weak points of their draft, like you see a Nyx Omni. Or no, the That's Omni true. was last picked, wasn't it? I, believe, like, I don't I mean, know. But I do want to point like, out too the bands for Michigan. Uh Insta ban, Arc, Sniper, and Nyx. They didn't they didn't take any time for those. Um but UBC's draft bands are actually, I think, really, really interesting. The Doom, obviously, it's a Laoban hero, it's really strong. Timber, Timber as OB. well. They probably looked at last week's or I guess Wednesday's game. Uh, Dude, you don't saw even that... need to to ban Timber out. Like Timber is just so strong right now. Mag and Razor as well. Uh, honestly, these are like a lot of JPs. Like Laoban's pause threes out. Um, seems they're leaving the axe and maybe intentionally. And then the Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker could have solved a lot of issues for Michigan last game. And um, I think so. It would have made countering uh, UBC's rotations a lot better. Because UBC was kind of all over the map, and Michigan support's going to keep up. And a Chen anti mage ban's coming from Michigan. I like the Chen ban. The anti mage ban sounds a little interesting. Michigan might be picking oh, the, something like yeah. Dusa. CM pick. They're going to go CM Jug. I hope they don't, because Jug is garbage. Really? I feel like yeah. he's kind of like I feel like if it's a good jug game, jug is really good right he's now. He's good in turbo, but he takes so many items that come online. Honestly, I just want to see a life sealer or a Sven. Like those two heroes are can't. so good, they're so stable right now. Just, just life pick them. Sven. That's fair. I agree. Um I think a void would work really well with Michigan's draft right now. Mm. Um but they could also mm -hmm. be setting up the Dusa. I don't know the if tiny... they tiny Arrow, tiny air lines. A tiny hoodwink is a really good support combo. I Enjoy think. the draft. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Michael, we'll miss you. Like, we replace one with another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. I think that the tiny is going to be interesting. It makes me curious to think if that hoodwink is going to be pause five, um, or if that tiny is going to be mid, and the hoodwink like still pause, pause four. Five hood. Pause five hood. Pause four tiny. Because all you really Let's need see. on a mage is a mage slayer on Hoodwink, and you're I kind of having a great time. I do think Tiny's actually pretty strong, or at least doesn't get completely clapped in lane by what um, Steve plays outside of maybe the Death Prophet. Yeah. So that's another that's aspect to look at, too. They could have picked the Tiny knowing this. Um, I want to see DK and a 1 come out from Michigan. I... Personally, would like to see a mid that does a little bit more earlier than a DK. Well, I'm just thinking keep the DK so you can play either two or three. Oh, the Marana mid. Oh, my God. I think that's... Okay, so I now think that Tiny is mid. I think the Tiny's four now because of this. 
Why would you put the Marana mid? Marana mid isn't good. Dude, BZM Marana? That shit was insane. That's because it's BZM, all right? The only people I trust on, like, Marana mid right now is BZM and, like, Sumail. True, but I could definitely see UBC just having trying to have a little bit of fun with this game after I could how too. game one was. Marana so. mid is really fun, and I kind of miss that it's not that good anymore. That's uh, because Marana mid and TI six was a great time. Slardar oh, coming Slardar. out from Michigan. I like that, that counters it's the Marana pretty hard. Um, I think it's also really good against the Hoodwink. Um, mm-hmm. however, I think it also is a little bit of a dangerous pick if you pair it with the Prophet. I think that might be a little interesting. I, I guess we have to see what the pause one is. And but if you we fall know behind on Slarder, you are su- screwed. That's true. And the supports from UBC are picked. They're open. Two of these three are, are, are supports. We don't know which is which yet. Because <laughs> legitimately, any of them could go mid as well. That's so true. Is Hoodwink mid, like, okay now? You could do it. It's certainly doable. It might not be great, but it's a possibility. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> legitimately any of these could go mid any of these could go five any of these could go four i like so, i feel like i really like ubc's drafting just for that reason because i feel like michigan their hero pools don't overlap puck. Ooh, i like puck. the puck i like the puck a lot actually the only thing the puck has to worry about is a marana arrow to the face but puck also is very good at dodging arrows and puck's gonna be strong in lane uh, worst case scenario, you just keep pushing it out over and over again. Uh, rotations are really easy. Um, yeah, I like it. Yeah. I-, I like the puck as well. Oh, the Ooh, DK boy, pick. That's a very good pick that's to counter the puck. Counter. I mean, you could just run the DK3, though. You can't, I don't think. Oh, I mean, I guess you... Yeah, I, I guess actually in this, in this situation, it would be. Oh, because you just pressure down the tower. I mean, CM does a lot of damage, but you just region it back up. Is that Tiny easily. 3? No, it's going to be Tiny 4, Hoodwink 5, DK 2, or 3, and then Marana 2. I think it might be the Tiny mid over the Marana, but it could be the Marana. Mm, we shall see. I mean, that, okay, that's actually true, though. The DK Marana setup, ooh, right? that would be nasty. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, you don't get that kind of pairing with the Tiny. With a tiny. Also, Marana is just tr- traditionally more played with like a strong stun. So. Yeah. So, I mean, well, for carries, what are we really looking at here? So, we see the Life Sealer band coming out, Slark, Anti Mage. What's UBC... left in the carry pool that UBC wants? Slark. Um, see, Void. Dusa being good. Void is really good for UBC. Oh, that's very because true. Because they have enough early game. To where they can just four man and let faceless void farm behind them. Um, you could also go a PA, a wind ranger wouldn't be bad. Oh, um, I like the wind pick, not really PA. PA might have a rough time against the Slardar, but mm-hmm. wind would not, and void would. I'd not. like to see Sven for UBC, just more armor to deal with Slardar. It's a plus rough, an extra stun. It's a rough lane though. It like a, is a rough lane, but. Also, I don't You're see. Spent. I don't really see UBC actually having that many issues with the Slardar. Um, the blink timing is going to be really important for the Slardar because if Slardar can't get on top of Hoodwink, Tiny, and Marana without them seeing the Slardar, then it's going to be an impossible game. Mm-hmm. Like, so for Michigan, what are we thinking to round out their draft? I mean, it's really just a Naga faceless, band. right? Isn't isn't this just a faceless pick here? It's, unless it's, it's a bad carry matchup. It's faceless, but I also think faceless doesn't really go too great into UBC's draft. A oh. morphling. Oh, jeez. Oh dear lord. Oh lord. Uh oh. Um, I really like the morphling. That is never if something you, you want to see. If you can play it, if UBC can play it, it's a very good morphling game. The only thing I think that can deal with Morphling is you have three heroes on Morphling, uh, specifically the CM, Slardar, and Puck. Um, And Morphling is out of position and doesn't see it coming. 
Michigan is best not be picking Gyro here. If they pick Gyro, I'm going to be so mad. A Gyro would throw. A Gyro is a throwing pick here. But I could also see them wanting to pick it. I, this is just a faceless game. This is a really good faceless game. If this you can catch a... this Morph out at all, you're going to Well, win. no, because I think Morph Shard allows them to attribute shift uh, while disabled. Oh, yeah, that's cringe. It might be that's a talent. True. No, but... I, I think you're right. I think it is a shard. Morphling is a very good pick. Very good pick. Yeah, um, Morphling's a wild pick. Like that's Knife so Stealer, good. and and you would want to pick something like Naga against it. Honestly, what about a win for Michigan? I wouldn't be too mad about that. Like just more disables to try and deal with all these heroes. Win Ranger. Oh um, yeah, yeah. I can see Win being good. It would be interesting. Um. My my problem with Wind Ranger is it's going to be really easy to get caught, and um, they have a lot of burst damage on mm. UBC. UBC mm. doesn't actually have too much sustain damage. Yeah, you like, can shift all stuff. By the way, the... that's a shard. Oh, is it? Dang. Yeah, that you're right. That is a shard. So the Specter. Mm, mm, I don't like that. I don't know what Specter is going to do. That maybe just a Blade Mail Radiance try and take this late but i mean dk is a natural silver edge carry and they have a break on the hoodwink yeah i don't know the specter just feels and that's a weak lane too is that DK yeah, that just three? feels a little forced i believe i don't know no i don't time. think so tim do you know what specifically is it that what, who are there? I don't remember what players or what heroes. I think Marana's the support. Correct. I think Tiny's or Marana was who was playing the Nyx. Uh, yeah. And Tiny is who was playing the Omni Knight. And Dubu was who okay. was playing the Shadow Fiend. And Lizard was who was playing the Sniper. So it's DK okay. mid. Oh, so it's a DK offline. mid. Tiny offline. I Tiny did offline. actually. I, I got that. Let's go. Nice call. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with this Spectre lane more now, just because of the tiny off lane. I feel like you'd um, struggle a lot more into DK. That's a lot of burst damage, though. Mm, that's true. But you don't have the super reliable also, arrow I, setup. That's true, but I'm not even worried about the spec in lane. I think the CM's going to get crushed. That's very true, yeah. This is, uh... Oh, level 29 Morphling? Jeez. Yeah, that's Ugh. that's rough. That is a bit rough. Yeah, Michigan's gonna need to pull out their A Since game. when did Laoban play PA? Down. What? I don't know. <laughs> Laoban does what he wants. That's true. Um, alright. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm ready for this game. Prepare I... For battle. Somewhat dislike Michigan's draft compared to UBC's. I think the one problem UBC might have is their offlane. That offlane might not go great. It relies on a lot of things going UBC's way. But that mid matchup, I mean, DK, Puck can't kill a DK. Not very easily. Especially if DK gets raindrops. And um, DK can't kill Puck either, though, right? Yeah, but that's less of an issue for the DK than it is for a Puck. That's very true. Puck yeah. needs kills, right? Puck. Mm -hmm. Very much needs kills. Needs to get active early. Uh, but two centuries, maybe? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, who did it? Who did it? No, I'm sorry! <laughs> what did you do? I need Buckfire Law for how my ears were injured yeah, we're on the Yeah, we're gonna be job. contacting Buckfire Law immediately to deal this personal injury case versus... I wonder if we can put that Mr. on the screen because it's probably copyrighted music. Well, yeah, but like, it's considering there were no consequences bottom for lane, running the Fox lane. NFL theme, I don't think that's a re reasonable consideration. Is this Hoodwing? Is this Hoodwing? Oh, Hoodwing, oh, is, hoodwing is so high. Oh, yeah. First blood to... Really, Tyler? Really, Tyler? Was... You had oh, to do that. <laughs> the only deal where they were from. <laughs> the WTF in the all chat, honestly, Hoodwink, I feel that. I feel that so much. If I was on Radiant and I saw four heroes sitting on the high ground right there, I would have been like, how? Why? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the point? Yeah, I respect um, it. Honestly, I would have liked to see Tyler stay down here, try and pressure this morph. It is the one. DK offlane. It's the tiny mid. I was even more right. 
Oh, so they just switched lanes. Interesting. Yes, and this, I think, is the best lane setup for them. I definitely agree, because DK with the stun, I mean, CM's gonna die. A lot. Like, rip CM, yeah. The seal is in, actually, might be in trouble. And this is a much harder lane for this, the um, Spectre. Yeah, because I just don't know how you get last hits as Spectre this game. Like, that's going to be so hard to do. Yeah, now I, I like this. I like this draft a lot better now for UBC. Yeah, and look I think how much it's definitely damage be... this puck has taken. Tiny has his bottle God. already. Jesus. That's insane. I think Puck has his bottle coming out as well, which is good. I do also want to say, well, after last Wednesday, right, we talked about a little bit the drafts because Michigan felt that they got out drafted against. Um, who were they playing? UFT. And one of the things that they talked about was drafting a support, their pause four, not in the first phase, right? Mm -hmm. But this game, Michigan did it again. Just Both supports. Back. Oh, my god. Bottom, bottom, lane. bottom lane. Oh my god. Oh, That's lives. fantastic. That's, That's a big kill. Um, He's going to have to go back to Fountain, which is rough, but that's a massive kill. Honestly, just suicide yourself to the tier one. Like, who cares if Hoodwink gets XP for that, you know? That may be kind of controversial, though. Yes. Oh, man. Seely face tanking the arrow there. That's not going to feel nice. I mean, this is... This is going to be a hard game for Michigan to pull off here. I definitely think Michigan has the easier draft to execute, but I feel like UBC is not going to have a problem executing their draft, and it's just so, so strong. On the plus side, I think Michigan has more tools to play from behind uh, in this game than they did in the past game. Oh yeah, 100%. Globals. Got a puck. Dream coil. Yeah. I do also think they have more. They also have heroes that still depend depend on the snowball, specifically the Slardar and the puck. Um, they need to have good games. I, they do have comeback potential. I mean, every Spectre team does, but the Hoodwink and the puck, specifically, not the Hoodwink, specifically the Slardar. I think bottom lane. This Morphling like, getting real low again. But also playing really aggressive. Which um, I think I benefits Slaughter pretty oh. heavily, right? Miss Stun. Ooh, good yeah, Seelie is not having Tyler. a great time. This DK is 10 denies. Yeah. That bushwhack hit, that's insane. Yeah. I was kind of a worthless bushwhack, though, so. That's true. Just Head wasted mana. Nice uh -oh. Wow. Oh my. Still on the Tyler. And there's and a begins. DK Marana setup. I mean, that's the entire goal of this lane. <laughs> I love that from Jin. Very nice. Sniping Morphling's courier there. I don't even know what it had on it, but. Cosmic. And then immediately coming back, nearly killing this Hoodwink. Hoodwink is just going to die in the bot lane. No, nothing to break the, um... Oh, Morphling taking a ton of damage here, too. Like, if he's not careful... He's good. He's on mostly Agi. And he has, um, a Lotus. Oh, that's true. That's very nice. He is not putting a single point in uh -oh, the wave Oh, Tyler going to die again. Unless he dodges, he dodges the arrow. Okay, very nice. He should be good Do now. Do they care? No. Honestly, I think you're okay with dragging them this far out of lane. So they needed to use so many spells just to get them. Will they even get them? Yeah. At this rate, they will, but that's all of their mana, and that gives Seelie a lot of space to farm here. Honestly, I think that's beneficial for U of M more than UBC here. One thing I will say, here. though, is that uh, Tyler will have to walk back to lane. What are you saying, Tim? Tyler has to walk back to lane, so that's... I don't, Ooh, I don't disagree not with the point, point, but that is, but, but there's, that hurts. It's, it makes it a little bit more even. Also, yeah. DK still has almost as many denies as uh, Spectre has last hits. Wow. Spec is so. only level three. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and my goodness. Celie had, she had, what, 
the solo XP for an entire wave. So. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, see, I'm sitting uh, level three as well. Okay, that's good. At least. Oh, it was almost a I'm very good arrow. To thread that needle, but Ooh. no kill without that arrow. I thought that was gonna hit. To be quite honest. Um, so hard. Middle lane. This puck doesn't have an answer for the tiny either. I mean, the tiny isn't gonna get a kill, but it's been a relatively even lane. Better yeah, Puck is oh, going to get the DD rune, though. That's going to be big. Wow, this Morphling is just denying everything against Laoban. Yeah, this yeah, is the big is lane, like, honestly, is the way this bottom lane has been going. Like, 31-18, Slaughter or Morphling is the of... you want to see. Nice yeah. pushback coming out, but just not enough damage. And UBC oh. just getting so many denies. Like, holy crap. They're DK, like... Yeah, Nearly it, each the of their cores thing. has more than all of Michigan's denies combined. And Morphling just chunking down these raindrops on Laoban, which, you know, never like to have that happen. That always feels really bad. Ooh, top lane though, DK going a little deep. I don't think there's really anything they can do to stop it because of how tanky he is, but... He's so hard to kill. This guy seems to love his tanky heroes. I'm just say yeah, I mean, not care about what you do. I don't blame him, I would too, after Ooh, how last game went. Healing. Healing. No wisdom room for U of M. Yeah, that's another thing that happened last oh, game. That with the mission. Prophet? That, yep. that hurts. Oh, Prophet going in. Attempting to get the Morphling? <gasps> Ooh, the Murata rotation yeah, is just yeah, perfectly yeah. timed. They caught him lacking on the drill. That's crazy. Laubon yeah, go good down. arrow dodge from Laubon, though. Yeah. UBC's draft, I think, just has a lot more synergies that uh, can come together a lot easier than Michigan's draft. Yeah, oh, UBC also just mid. feels a lot more comfortable playing as a team than Michigan. Yes. There's some definite disconnects. And they got the warp mid too. I mean, Michigan's lanes again. It, it's tied in kills, but if you look at the last hit denies, I mean, ouch. <laughs> you know? How's the network looking? Ooh. Oh, big kill on the puck oh, too. Oh no! How? Yeah, Wait, what? That was at the top rune. Um, Kataz balled in, uh, orbed in for the arcane rune, got it, but died as a result. Had no escape. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, get the oh courier? Get more courier? That's a... Oh, dang. Did Tyler TP in? I've orbit. missed that movement. No, he didn't TP in. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, oh my more god, this crazy. is more crazy. Big dream call gonna come in. Looks for the return kill on the Murata, but... Possibly oh, a little bit of a enough. siren song here. Oh, Lobon's oh, gonna oh, go oh, in. He's gonna crush. Oh, the oh, Tiny's gonna be here. Avalanche oh. locks on the puck. Puck will die. Turn the kill wall for one kill. Oof. That was clean for Morph, though. Oh my god. Glad Laoban was able to get something out of the lane, or something out of that fight at least, because even though he did go down, probably worth it just because that Murata had a killing spree. Once again, look at that map spread. Look at what's happening top lane. Lizard's just bullying Seelie out of the lane. Getting him forced out into the jungle. Getting his farm up, getting his money up, not getting his money up. Yeah, that's another thing that UBC is doing really well. They're drafting a really strong pause three, and then kind of focusing all the attention in the middle or uh, safe lanes, like their safe lane. Um, getting the um, rest of Michigan away from protecting their carry. You know, usually you want to give the carry a oh, strong... Oh my god. Yeah. We'll love oh, on, get away. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, not quite gonna be there. Shot, we'll take him out. We'll trade this one. Yeah, that's too bad. What do yeah, you but think again, build on Spectre this game, though? Three, three Michigan heroes are bought. They're not giving the Spectre any ability to hit lane creeps. And that's what you want. As a Spectre, as somebody who doesn't have a farming item, you need to be able to hit lane creeps in order to keep up your farm. And the mm. fact that Seelie can't is a problem. The Spectre can't take jungle creeps very well. They are going to TP people up top now. And yeah, I think this on. Dragonite is going to die. Yeah. 
a block. Not waste games. dragon form. They will take that loss. They will exchange it for pressure Honestly, in mid tier one. I would be pretty happy if you're Michigan and that happened. Considering your tier one didn't die, it's very close to dying, but it didn't yeah, die a to move. a DK with Siege Wave, and you didn't lose mid tower either. Like overall, it took, what four heroes? But that's fine. You have teleporter. That's true. Like Nature's Prophet doesn't really count in a lot of the rotations just because of that. I think he TP'd in anyways with Is his uh, scroll. So. Morph. Yeah. Oh, will he be able to get yeah. tiny here though? Maybe. Nope. But they will get the Marana. Oh, not able to get him. Uh, Look at the pox. Suiciding for the cause. Oof. I mean, Marana's definitely going to be happy about that trade there. Yeah. Yeah. No Save the tiny and got the kill on Puck and force both supports mid. That's what is uh, this oof. Morphling going? Uh, Vlad's into. Oh, what is it? I think it's Vlad's, and then you disassemble it for Phylactery. Still looking at the tiny. There goes a jump in from Sealy. Oh, oh huge pickup. Huh? Pick you're too far away from your mic. I'm right next to my mic. There no, you now go. you're now next to your mic. Your mic. Or, oh, I haven't moved. Anyway, Arrow on the. Continue. Cycle cap. That's oh my right. god. Michigan. What just happened? I was in the shot messing around. I. That was incredible. That was good. That was very good. Picking up a clean and triple, going getting all the tower pressure. Ooh, maybe trying to focus this morph down. It looks like they're at least going to try and set up vision, maybe? Or they're going to make a push for this bottom tower. Either way, Tiny has the blink. And DK... Oh, they're going for this mid tower. That is what UBC is set to do. We got a mid tower push being set. Uh, actually, the DK is, it looks like they're just going to contest this bottom tower. Next flash point of the game, right here. Yeah, sadly, I don't think they can really dive on this morph just because of how strong UBC still is. But you know, they're at least forcing heroes bottom to respond. Oh, five hundred to blink too. On the DK's slider. got the blink. Will he get puck? Cause oh, majorly caught out. Oh, that's rough. Hate that to is see it. Rough. Yeah, this puck. I mean, you don't want to be dying, you know. <laughs> oh, and, oh and four true. on the puck. Oh and four on the puck. You would rather that be like two and one, you know. Five assists. That's really good. But the the being zero oh and four is going to make this game really hard to get back into. Puck still doesn't have blink. Puck only has the witch blade. Yeah, I think what's going to need to happen is Daya's as soon as Laoban gets his blink, I think Puck will, Puck and CM will just need to go with him and try and focus down this morph as much as he possibly can. Yeah, and this Tiny is hunting. He's looking. And Michigan's just going to blink away. They're going to find the Slardar now, though. It's hard to get a lot of damage. damage. A little irresponsible. Bushwhack. Oh, dear. Big oh. to find three heroes. They might get the natures as well. No, Puck going in? We'll see what Michigan decides to do here. Smart play from Puck to not go in on that. I mean, looks like Tiny a great opener to the blink. fight, but... Didn't go their way. They're gonna catch the Prophet as well. Two-man coil. And oh, Tiny actually be... taking a crap yeah, load of damage here. a lot of damage. Down. Might actually tick down to the vessel. Nope. Oh, no, no way. No shot. It's gonna live. And the That's puck might insane. die for this. Good patience, keep yourself alive. Oh. The, bushwhack. <gasps> uh. the puck getting a little greedy, Ooh. wanting that kill. They're gonna get the hoodwink in response. But still, oh my god! And you don't get tiny out of that. That's, that's not so what you want. Close. It started oh. so well with the morphling. It started yeah. so well for Michigan. I mean, I think that just really shows the strength of UBC's draft here, though, because their counter initiation is insane. Thing, with yeah. double blink dagger up already. And that's not going to happen to Morph very much uh, once Morph gets Manta too. Uh, yeah, but good thing is now though, this is Laoban's blink, so I'm really hoping Michigan tries to make a move here just to focus down this Morph or even the Tiny with it. 
The morph is also a zero and three, so in a similar situation to the puck. But the problem with the morphling is the morphling has, oh, uh, you know, 111 last hits. While <laughs> puck has Jesus. 50. So, wow, that's the difference right now. That's contributing to the net worth dis net worth disparities. I see. Oh, we're on a Big oh. kill bot. Is that down? mid? That was mid. No, it's top, it was top actually. It was top. Yeah. You know, I've got to say, I've been liking how Seelie's been playing this game a lot more than how she's played a lot of the past games. Oh, mid lane, though. A little bit of a fight breaking out here. Yep. Maybe just a Prophet dying. But Looks like it's gosh. just a uh, pickoff. Um, Michigan got a haste rune on the puck. That will help a lot, actually, without the blink. Um... And they now know that the DK is bottom, so this might be their chance to force the issue. Indeed, there'll be a three-man smoke. And they're going for the DK, actually, but a Good. TP in from the Marana. Ooh, that'll do a lot to stop this gank if it does Oh, please continue. don't see the Marana first. They're going to get the Marana first. Uh, uh, that that's... does save the DK. Marana saying yeah. they have vision on the high ground. They don't. So that's a nice little miss call out from the Marana. That's very true. They're also going to ping the Morphling. They see the Morphling. Michigan has some very good wards to see map rotations from the Radiant, uh, which I guess UBC only has one really ward up. So that might be, that's a little interesting. Tim, you love talking about the vision game. Um, UBC is kind of losing it right now. Um... Radiance I mean, let's like examine what's going on here, right? They've got this good war deep on the dire triangle. It's kind of showing where things are going. Oh, I did not oh, see that quick. one. Mid late though. Oh, he's gonna go down here. Find him. Lava, oh, lava, 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 that's the tiny going down though. That's a big kill. Not a bad fight for Michigan. Yeah, yep, Kata's you're definitely up that gonna one be happy too. trading both supports for that. Yeah, Kata's got the kill streak, so that's actually massive. And Seely um, didn't even need to show up for that fight, I don't think, right? Kata's is so close to that blink, so close. I'm honestly surprised Kata's didn't just end up buying the treads because I think that would have given him a lot of utility. Very least. necessary survivability as well. Yeah, I, I'm a little intrigued by that. It seems a little greedy and it didn't pay off. Mm, I guess like the thought process is you want to try and line up your blink timing with your slarder's blink timing as much as- Oh, oh no. Oh, oh speak of the devil. my. Yeah, this tiny with the blink echo is going to be kind of a problem for literally everyone in Michigan outside of the slardar. And again, it's not been the fact that like UBC is finding significantly more picks than Michigan is. They're not really doing that. The difference is when UBC is getting picks, the Dragon Knight and the, the Morphling are invariably farming, or one of the two is, or the there's right. a support on a side lane getting free farm, or the Tiny has got mid lane clear. We gotta go here. It also time. is a lot of UBC getting a lot of solo kills, while Michigan's Tiny. getting a lot of team Oh, standing strong, Puck gonna jump in, secure this kill. Cost of Laobon, maybe Michigan wanna find more. Dream Quill Ooh. connecting onto the Hoodwink is gonna get broken, not gonna be able to TP away. But Michigan will find two. Morph continues to get ahead, but those are two big kills for Michigan. Kataz picking up three kills now. Um, still three and six, but I mean, those are important three kills. Yeah, with how this early game has gone, you're... Definitely going to be happy with how this recovery is going for Michigan. Yeah, it's still a 9k gold lead for UBC. It feels like it isn't that much, but I guess we haven't really seen this Morphling hit full potential yet. But it's Dude, coming. it's all in the supports. Like, Marana's nearly at Laoban's net worth this game. I mean, Morph has 2k on Spectre. Oh, shit, You're right, though. True. Yeah, this Marana is actually farming a lot. It's the arrow, the arrow and the creeps. Yeah. Oh, and the maelstrom coming up next. She's gonna be able to get him. A in a, in a bit of trouble. Uh -oh. Gonna try to find a return before, but no. And Seely or uh, Steve him. not going down in the mid lane either. I mean, move was made on Puck. Puck didn't die. Killed DK. That's You're gonna kill. be happy with that. Yeah. And this, this really Marana's in a bit of trouble too. 
Just back Will they actually trying be able to find, find her, though? So how long no. is- Oh, Moonlight Shadow's running out. Oh, they're not gonna be able to get her before she TPS. Out. Unfortunate, but... This oh, this timing works really out really well. I'd like to see Michigan just take this Tormentor right away. They have a Morphling lot of good shards. Has enough for the Flackerty, I believe. Oh, Puck, 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 no. Puck. Please, no. Please get out of there. Thank you. Oh, why the orb? Ooh. Lob on. In comes Healy. All right. Wow. That's a big, that's a big shard to get. Oh, but they lose the profit. He got the wisdom, though. That's what that's matters. Big. That's also big. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That's a good shard to get, actually, for Kataz. Maybe not, like, for a fighting ability or anything like that, but it just helps farm a mid lane. This Tiny wants that puck. Tiny also and... going a Phylacrity. 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 No, he's going... Wait, why? Um, Does Tree maybe... Grab count as a single target spell? I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, so he's just gonna try doing the exact same thing Morph is gonna do, just pop him. Yep. Yep. Honestly, and I, I think that's a like good it. strategy. Yeah, it's a good well, strat. At, no, I feel like Khan is way too gimmicky. Oh, bottom lane though, they're going on the DK again. Will they be able to get him? They should. Oh, they're there to save him. This is the third time. In comes the tiny, probably going to be able to find his return kill. Not no. quite gonna be able to find him on Bushes actually. And there's a pretty big ultimate, but oh, oh, it's no, not gonna oh. be enough. A lot of damage coming out from UBC, um, cleaning up four heroes. That was the Phylacrity. The more Phylacrity, I believe. Phylac. Is under attack. Phylacrity? Where was Puck in that There's engagement? Or why did they not wait for Puck? Like, he had Coil up. Puck and he has have, his blink. Puck didn't have a uh, TP. Puck TP'd mid. I know, but I don't, I don't know why you go that deep when they have a tier 1 tower still up. Yeah, I, and you it, go on the DK of all heroes. Like, yes, you can kill him pretty fast with minus armor, but it's still a DK. The hoodwink is a higher level than the puck. Yeah, I don't know. That just seemed a bit overly ambitious from Michigan because a the lot puck, of the rotations have been going really, really well. Oh, UBC going to get a free roche as well. Yeah, the puck is a, a lower level than everyone on UBC. Ooh, that's rough. So is Spec. Spec is the same level as the Hoodwink. I mean, that's just kind of expected with how this game's been going. Because while Michigan has been getting some really good picks, they've really been paying the price for the majority of them. Oh, the Hoodwink trying to find the Slardar. Might still go. Has a Glepnir. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, gonna get yeah. caught out. He's gonna get popped by Morph. No. Movement from this. Hoodwink. Is going to just find Lava, but maybe not quickly enough. Lava, no. Way too many heroes from UBC. Back is still stuck actually, on the high ground. Tyler is still stuck. Good glimmer cape. The hoodwink does go down. Seely is going to have to find her way out of here as Lava about to drop to the DK. Seely, they just alive. down. UBC did not play that fight very well. Yeah, well no, done DK got Michigan. stuck on the cliff. He blinked on the cliff to um get more vision. Yeah, but I feel like he got a manta off of it when the fight starts, you know? Oh yeah. Oh, 100%. This oh, is mid still going... lane. Oh, that's not great. Alright. Spilla gets it. two away. Ends up being a two for one exchange and a tier two as well. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, with the more Michigan... Ages. If Michigan wants to get back in this game, though, I, what do they realistically need to do to do that? Is it just get more picks on cores, just focus targets better? Any big items coming up that would do it? I this morph really plays know. really aggressive, waveforming into the middle of like four heroes and has died because of it. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be harder and harder to punish as the game goes on, but you have to build. Uh, in a way that can punish the Morphling for doing that and to be able to kill the Morphling. Um, which I think Michigan is attempting to do. They're building the Scotty on the Spectre. Um, you know, Puck's going to Puck. But Slardar's going a Echo Saber. I mean, these are items that, while may not be what you oh, want, no. they're going to help you kill some. Oh, it's not a kill you want, though. There's the break. 
Oh, and Puck as well. Oh, oil coming it does. out. Yeah, Puck just doesn't do damage. It has the Kaya now, but I mean, it's not a lot. Puck needs level 15, kind of bad. Overall, though, while this game isn't, uh... Marana's about to catch the, um... The Slardar, potentially, as well. Or Slardar's gonna catch... Michigan dropping... Return kill on the Marana, though. Exactly. You know, I've gotta say, though, like... More. Even though this has been going pretty poorly for Michigan, Game 2 has been a way... I feel like their communication has been way better just with the moves they've been making around the map. Yeah, I agree. And creeps are here now, too. That might just lead into high ground. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's really anything UBC needs to be scared of, especially with Dreamcoil being down. Uh, so, like, why not go high ground? I guess they'll probably just stay safe, grow the net worth lead even more, because why not? Uh, but I, I don't think it's necessary here. Oh, they want the Morph BKB. Morph is so close to it, but... Yeah, about a thousand off. Dyer's <sighs> Hard game. Very, very hard game. I mean, uh, really it's not even close. More winnable than the last one. Uh, exactly. I mean, yeah. but definitely better. Catching the Spectre, but deep. Well, not the Oh Spectre. my god, that's 1300 gold going to Michigan there. I mean. Oh, and they're going to catch the Hoodwink too. And the Hoodwink. That's another thousand for Laoban. UBC is overplaying their hand a little bit. I mean, it is just 2k free. Uh oh. Oh no, profit. Oh no, profit. Yeah, that's an unfortunate <laughs> turn of events. DK. Yeah. I don't know why you go out that deep. I guess you want to try and get vision down, but. Morph is sitting at 18k right now. Holy shit. Where is Morph? Where are the items, though? Oh, BK is coming out. Okay, yeah. And Spec yeah. is not, still not, like, close to the Scotty. Fif two, what? 1,500 away? More? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, way more than 1,500. They have two Gleps on UBC. Wait, since... How does Scotty get built now? It's just one Ultimate Orb, not two. And there's that rest. What? Yeah. When was that changed? Uh, 7.35. Well... Shadows. Shit. <laughs> In the uh, right. unreleased Crownfall update. Oh, yeah, yeah, the crown ball thing. You know what? Oh, and this CM is going to be found and murdered. Got the ward. Okay Got the that. ward. But this might just lead into racks. Oh, going on the DK once again, though. They should be able to take him down unless UBC can counter fast. It looks it like looks a little like tiny UBC going in getting a big in. avalanche off. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That might just be game. Four buybacks available. For Michigan, but they don't have any spells though. No, they just have coil. They also have CM alt. They do, but Avalanche exists, you know? Avalanche, arrow, two Gleipnirs, um, Morphling BKB. Yeah, it's a little rough. Holy crap, this is. This is a very impressive showing from UBC. Like it I, is. I see why they're at the top of the league. It's I also very impressive. I think they just outdrafted Michigan every game. Yeah, and I think that. I yeah, I don't know. They just UBC has a lot more standard of a draft. I feel because like they it have a lot of more... picks that could flex a lot, and it's just more cohesive. It also feels like more of like a professional style draft. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. this is something I would see in like a pro game. Yes. Are they as good as pros? I, probably not, but let's be expected. Middle lane. Um, oh, Tiny wow. and Hoodwink. The tale of UBC's match has always been they do really good and Tiny and Hoodwink go and feed. Yeah, this Tiny has been really liking to try and put U of M back into the game, you know. He's still second on the network chart. But if he does it enough, there's a chance. Hidden, he only has five deaths, so it feels like he's been doing this for a longer amount of time. Well, I think he's only died twice under high ground. But... Oh no, this puck? Oh, Black Dragon, no, Black Dragon, no. There's an Invis rune. They see the, they see the morph. Oh my god. Immediately bothered to see him. 
Hold on, uh, hold his own. Can try man fight, but it might not one. work. That's a nine second B, can be on Black Dragon. Morph as That's well. Three down, following up for a fourth. Ooh. And that might just be it. I think if uh, UBC had any doubts about their ability to fight, um, those doubts have been fully eliminated Dyer's from their mind. Oh no, changed. not the courier. That was the Scotty! That was gonna go get the Scotty! Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is... one of the worst things that could happen to Michigan at this point. Honestly, try and TP out to your outpost, then sneak it from their secret shop. And then just yeah. TP back in with Shadow Step. Yeah, that's what I would do, actually, yeah. It's a good idea. Thank you. Once in a while I have those, I promise. Every every couple of months, you just Yeah, on. yeah. It takes a little bit, but we get there. <laughs> I cook it up for a while. And then, like, it helps when there's no patch, because then you don't have to, like, change the line of thinking. Oh my god, Drew. I can barely get on one line of thinking about this game ever anyway, so... Oh, will we see a last fight come out from Michigan? It looks like it. They have Coil, they have Shadow Step, they don't have CML for another 10 seconds. Um, yep. Or oh, it looks like UBC is going to start it quickly, Jeez. taking pushes yes. immediately out of the fight. In come oh, Kataz, trying to force him down. You are going to lose Tiny. 4v4 with pushes flying back, but their Jin falls once again as well. Two buybacks. And UBC is probably like, well, this is alright. No Dream Coil available. In comes Laoban, doesn't manage to connect the stun onto anybody, and now two curves from Michigan are a little bit too deep. He falls the back line to the Morphling, and heroes left and right falling. The strength of UBC, and that is the end there of tonight's story. Yep. There it is. Dang. Such a shame, wow. but overall, way better performance than game one. And yes. honestly, just well played on UBC's part. That was, outside of Tiny throwing a little bit there, that was just very clean Dota. I, I can agree. And uh, 40k gold lead, I mean, UBC did everything they had to do to win. And Tiny could even dive tier 4s every couple minutes, and it still didn't matter. That is all true. Any final thoughts? I mean, um, how many more games do we have left for the season? I think one is more. It, I think one more. Is it just one, one more? more? Yeah. Well, let's hope we're not playing number 1 or number 2 in the league, and... We'll probably have a lot better, a lot better of games to watch next year. Next That's series. right, and next series will be next week, probably. I assume. Yeah, at next some point. I believe Wednesday. so. Yeah. All right, keep your. I do, I do gotta say, I do enjoy these games not lasting eighty minutes. It is refreshing to see a draft executed on a reasonable timetable that was pre-planned. That is true. I just wish it was us doing it. Yeah. Got to take that one up with. Supreme Leader Saddam Sam Hussein. Um, <laughs> all right, we will. Yeah, we'll just on, keep out of wow. Here. We will, on that note, see you next That's week. Crazy. Keep it here. Notification bell on.